Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can build yourself a small little beach train. And this is that beach train that we will be building today. It's a beautiful shade of yellow and it's perfectly designed for you to trample along the beautiful railway lines you've built along the beach and perfect for you to just drive off into the sunset blowing your steam whistle and just living your life on the beach. And this is the yellow engine that we will be building in today's tutorial. So, we are going to start with uh, obviously our uh, bogies. So, I want you to place one at the front and then one uh, behind that, a singular wheel, and then one, two, three, four blocks behind that for our tender. Then we're going to move on to uh, the whistle, which is going to be on the inside, invisible. So we're going to place a fluid tank with a steam whistle uh, attached onto that. Then I recommend you click it twice with a wrench to make it a, a higher pitch for the engine. Now, we're going to move on to the front and the frame. So, I'm going to start with uh, the Okram. I want you to place them uh, at the front, facing like this in a sort of pyramid shape, with a black stone block on top with a wall on top of that, and then place uh, black valve handles on the front. Uh, these are going to act uh, as the uh, buffers for the engine. Then we're going to move on to the side of the frame, that's the wrong button, Jamie. Um, we're going to start with uh, the Okram, polished Okram, place two on either side next to the bogey and the whistle, then an upside down Okram staircase with a polished Okram slab. Then get cut Okram and place it in a T shape with upside down Okram stairs attached to that, and then finish that off with a. Uh, a black valve handle on the back to act as the buffs for the engine. Then we're going to move on to the boiler. So we are going to need our uh, brass blocks. We're going to need three of them. So one, two, three, and then get some trap doors and surround the entire uh, backside of the boiler with trap doors. Then we're going to get a button, place it in a Y shape in the length of the locomotive. So the button faces this direction, not this. We want it in this direction. Then get a lantern and place it on either side where the block was missing. Now we're going to move on to uh, the cab. So we're going to start with our train controls, place them on top of the bogey with a seat behind that, and then finish that off with an Okram slab on top of the train controls. Then we're going to do the side of the cab, so two polished Okram blocks on either side of a seat and the train control, and then place Okram slabs in a C shape, so one is upside and the one is upside down, so you get a C shape on the side of the locomotive. Then we're going to get our walls, so place one uh, at the front of the cab on either uh, of these blocks, two of them, and then uh, place polished blackstone slabs as your roof. And that is the engine complete. Now we're going to move on to the tender. Um, we're going to start with polished cut Okram. So on all the sides except the front, place a polished Okram uh, for the uh, walls of the tender. And then at the front, place a singular Okram uh, block. Then get Okram stairs, build them upside down facing the side of the tender. And then two facing the engine. Then get two normal Okram blocks and then uh, some lanterns with uh, black valve handles at the back once again to act as buffers. Then finally place a chest for all your coal to go in so the engine can go extra fast. And that ladies and gentlemen is the entire engine complete. So. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm glad to be back. Um, it uh, took a while to uh, upload a video again, but uh, yeah, I'm glad to be back. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I will keep on making engines for as long as you guys would like me to. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I will see you in our next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.